Hello friends, this video on chemical bonding part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 13. Let's take example of CO2 molecule. Carbon has 4, oxygen has 6, there are 2 oxygen, 6 into 2, 12, 12 plus 4, 16. I have 16 valence electron to start with. Let's add like this carbon. So if you add like this, so we are we used how many? Two. Two into two, four, four electrons. So we are left with two electrons. Let's make the carbon happy first. Carbon has four. Let's add four more. Carbon is happy. So we are left with eight electrons. This guy oxygen needs six. This guy also needs six because both have two electrons. So two electrons are required. We have only eight. Not possible. So we have deficiency of electron. So let's propose this new model now, where I have one bond here. So let's start with the fresh approach. 16 I have, 3 bonds, 6 electrons gone in, 3 bond, 10 electrons remaining. Let's make carbon happy, carbon has 6 electrons, give 2 more electrons to carbon. Carbon is happy, 8 electrons. This oxygen needs 6 electrons and this needs 4 electrons, 6 plus 4 electrons required. But we have only 8 electrons, so this also won't help. Let's draw a new structure. So we can draw two structure now. Right? Because you have to draw one more bond here. So one we can do is we can add extra bond. I'll draw the same structure first here. One case I can do is I can add extra bond here. The other case I can do is I can draw an extra bond here. Right? Two possible options I have. Let's take these both options and let's start fresh again. You have 16 valence electron now. You have 4 bonds, 8 electrons gone. So you have 8 electrons now. Let's make carbon happy. Carbon is happy in both the case. Let's make oxygen happy in this case. Oxygen needs how many? 4 it has. It needs 4 more. 4 remaining. 4 remaining we can give it to this oxygen. This oxygen is also happy. We have Zero electrons now, everybody is happy. Let's take this case. So we have 16 valence electron minus 4, 8 electrons gone for bond. So we have 8 electrons. Carbon is happy, not required. This oxygen needs how many? 6 electrons. So we have 2 electrons remaining. So this 2 I can give it to this oxygen. This guy will also be happy. I have 0 electrons remaining and everybody is happy. If you see this, this structure I could have done in this fashion also. Correct? Where I have 2 here and 6 here. Because if this guy is oxygen 1, this is oxygen 2, oxygen 1, oxygen 2, oxygen, oxygen 2. So, we can make 3 scenarios. 1, both double bond. In this case, oxygen 1 and carbon has single bond. Here oxygen 1 and carbon has 3 bond. Three different shapes for CO2. And that's why we see that resonance occurs. Resonance exists in this case also. So the best shape to give CO2 will be like this. The resonance shape. Correct. Also, since we have already studied the formal charge, let's find the formal charge in all these uh, cases. Case 1, oxygen has 6 valence electron minus 4 here, minus 2 bond, 0 charge. Carbon has 4 natural form, minus 4 bond, 0 charge. Oxygen, this guy has 6 natural form, minus 4 electron now, you can see here, minus 2 bond, 0 charge. So everybody is 0 charge. Let's take this one here. In this case, oxygen 1, 6 is the natural form, minus 6 it has here now, minus 1 bond. That means minus 1 charge. So it will get minus 1 charge. Carbon has 4 in natural form, minus 4 bond, 0 charge. So oxygen 2, 6 in natural form, minus 2 here, minus 3 bond here, is plus 1 charge. This guy has plus 1 charge. Similarly, if you do, this guy will come out to be plus 1 charge, real minus 1 charge. 
this is just to uh, show that the formal charge is something easy to find. Let's draw a structure of NO2 minus. See, nitrogen has five electrons, oxygen has six, so six into two because two oxygen molecule plus one extra charge, one. That is, we have eighteen valence electron to start. So let's draw the structure nitrogen and put some oxygen molecule here. Since we have used two bond, four electron is gone. Or two bond left with fourteen electron. Let's make nitrogen happy. It has four electrons. Give four more electron to this guy. Nitrogen into lab. Nitrogen. Eight electron. Nitrogen happy. Now we have ten electrons. Let's make this oxygen happy. Give six electron because it has two electrons. Minus six to oxygen one. We have four electrons, but we need six electrons to make this oxygen happy, right? So it will say, okay, let me form a double bond with nitrogen. So let's close, cancel this structure, and create this structure. Let's start fresh again. We have eight valence electron. We have used three bond. There will six electron is gone in three bond, right? We are left with twelve electrons. Let's make nitrogen happy. Nitrogen has six electrons. Give two electrons to nitrogen. Nitrogen is happy. Ten electrons are there. This oxygen has two electron. Let's me give six electron as oxygen. This electron will be oxygen will be happy. We have four electrons. This oxygen has four electron. It needs four electron to be happy. And thus, I don't have an electron now. And everybody is happy, right? There is a minus charge. Let's see from where it came. Let's see this oxygen. This oxygen has. Uh, let's find the charge on this. So oxygen has six by default. The natural form. The natural uh, valence electron minus six it has now minus one bond. This guy has minus one charge. Let's talk about nitrogen. Nitrogen has five in the natural form minus two minus three. There is zero charge. This oxygen. Let's talk about this oxygen. Six in the natural form minus four electrons here and two bonds here. So zero charge. This is the only charge it has, and that's why it got a minus one charge, one minus charge. But you notice here, instead of making this structure, I could have made this structure also. Correct. So thus, if you see that both the structure is possible, thus resonance exists here also. So the nitrogen resonance structure will be something like this. Correct. Let's take one more example of HNO3 nitric acid. So here hydrogen has one, nitrogen has five, oxygen has six. But the three oxygen more atoms. So it is eighteen plus nineteen plus five twenty four. So let's take nitrogen as my central atom, and we can add. Three oxygens and one hydrogen here. Correct. We are starting with twenty-four. We have four uh, bond, eight electron gone, so we have uh, sixteen remaining. Let's make nitrogen happy. Nitrogen is already happy. Eight electrons. Let's make this guy happy. Oxygen. Two electrons. We'll add six more. This guy is happy. Let's make this guy happy. Two electrons, six more. This guy is happy. Let's make this guy happy. This guy, to make this guy happy, you need six electron, but we have only four. That means this structure is not possible, right? So let's do one thing. We know that it's an acid, nitric acid. So OH exists in that case, right? So let's instead of writing that structure, let's let's create this kind of structure. OH. And then I have uh, one O here, one O here, because I know for acid. OH exists, so let's try with this structure. Right, the structure is gone, waste. So we started with twelve valence electron. So we have one, two, three, four bond. And this eight electron is gone here. So we have sixteen electrons now. Let's make nitrogen happy. Nitrogen has six. Add two more. Nitrogen is happy. We have fourteen now. Let's make this guy happy. Oxygen. So this has two. Add six more. So eight. Let's make this guy happy. This oxygen it has two. Add six more. 
we have two now. So can we make this oxygen happy with two? No. Right? Because it needs four. That means a double bond has to be formed. So let's start with a new structure where I am forming a double bond here. Let's start with the structure. Right? Let's cancel this. So just hit and trial, you keep trying. So we have 24 valence electron. So we have one, two, three, four, five, five bonds. So 10 electron is gone in five bond. So we have 14 uh, electrons now. Let's make nitrogen happy. Nitrogen is already happy. Let's make this oxygen happy. This is uh, four electrons. So let's add two more electrons. Sorry, four more electrons to this oxygen. Oxygen is happy now. So we have 10 remaining. So let's see this oxygen. It has four electrons now, right? So let's add four more. This oxygen is also happy. So we have six electrons remaining. Six, if we can give this electron uh, oxygen, this will be happy. So we have zero electrons and everybody is happy. This is my shape of HNO3. But wait, if you see the same HNO3, we can also make something like this. Right? These are also possible. Correct? I think let's try with this. I'm not sure if it's possible or not. Let's give it a shot. One, two, three, four. O H. Let's try this. In this case, nitrogen. Uh, uh, let's see. Let's start with twenty-four. We have ten gone. Five bonds. So we have fourteen now. Let's pick nitrogen. Is already happy. Let's pick this oxygen. Happy. We need six. So we have uh, eight. Let's make this nitrogen happy. Oxygen happy. We need six more. Two is left. We can make this oxygen happy with two. Right? So this is also possible. So we have three possible shape for HNO3. That means here also the resonance exists. So none of these shapes will give you exact picture of nitrogen. I think the exact picture is something like this. We will have nitrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, one oxygen here, one oxygen here. Then you can have something like this. Some resonance. Correct. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.